on. You just sing with me. I just sing with me. Come on, you know the tune. You do. Is she crazy? Well, we do call her Claire de Lune. I loved the Claire de Lune. That was my idea also, instead of calling her Crazy Claire. Because Claire de Lune, first of all, it resonates of music, the, of the moon, and of a bird, of a loon. And I thought those were three really beautiful symbols for who this woman is. She wants something that's going to give her peace. And I thought, what if she's trapped in her probably six-year-old birthday? and um, has stayed there because something happened to her then. And I mean, I have a whole backstory that I made up about her. And so I wanted her to be beseeching about somebody to recognize her, sing me happy birthday, validate that I was born. Hi guys. I was talking to the wardrobe, um, and when I told her I want to be dressed like a little girl, you know, in her birthday, and so she brought these layers of crinoline skirt and that great belt. But um, the day before I came to Sedona, I thought, I'm just going to go shopping. So I went to L.A. In, in L.A., I went to this little thrift store, and I saw those shoes, which are the Mary Janes, and they were little girl, girl shoes, size four. And I wear like a size six and a half, seven. And I thought, I'm going to get my feet in those <laughs> shoes. I'm gonna stay. I don't care how, how much it hurts. Those are the shoes. I want to wear those shoes with ankle socks. And um, that gave me so much. It gave me a stance. And it made me feel like a child. It was a really interesting. Shoes are very important for an actor. For me, especially. I don't know why. Shoes can change my whole performance. And those, being such little girl shoes, they kind of planted me in a certain kind of way and made me walk in a certain kind of way, like a child. And it was, it was perfect. Hey, you found my keys. There was something about the metaphor of she has the keys to this woman. Give them to me. No. And I thought, and, and I just started creatively spinning off of that. And, it, and it's so exciting as an actress when that happens, because it doesn't always happen. I sort of made up this, these thoughts that she won't just give her the keys. She won't just take them off and throw them away. Tammy has to work for those keys. And what she wants from her is to say that she's sorry and that she loves her. And those are two elements that Tammy's character is trying to, to come to peace with in the film. Would you like to dance? Yeah. And that was my idea too. I don't even know where that came from. Honest to God. That was one of those things I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought we're standing in the pond and I've given her the keys almost like a blessing. You know, I'm transferring something from myself to her, you know, sort of metaphorically but also physically. And I just thought, I'm going to ask her to dance. <laughs> With Claire and this, these particular moments that I think we found, I felt they were all seminal to the main story, which was again sort of exciting, you know, that that they kind of just, just revealed itself. There was a little bit of magic there. That's kind of for me what acting is about, is finding these, these sort of seminal moments that, are, that resonate a really kind of universal truth, you know? No matter how awful your character is that you play, there's some need that, that, there's some need that provokes that, and, and you have to find that because that's what, that's what your audience will feel. And that's why I kept waking up in the middle of the night. Seriously, it was like playing on my inner, you know, my inner mind because I, I go, oh, wait, wait, that could lead, oh my God. Then water and baptism and, and, and the transfer of energy from one person to another. I mean, it was all sort of like, um, I mean, I was making little notes at three o'clock in the morning. It was really a beautiful experience for me.